What's up guys? Welcome back this week. We're doing something different. We're going to go out here on Lake Barkley and we're going to show you how, where, and why that red ear can be caught in the fall. And I got the missus there, Mrs. Crappie Monster. Today she is Mrs. Shellcracker Monster. And I, I do have to tell you, I am bringing in a pro to help us out there. Y'all ever seen that cat before? Mr. Kevin Bean? How y'all doing? He is here. It is about to go down. You all are in for a treat. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Let's go fishing. Good one. <laughs> what do you think about this stuff, Brittany? Is that a good start to the day or what? Yeah. How many is that so far? Four, three. I don't know. How long have we been here? 15 minutes. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. So all I'm doing, I'm side scanning. Right here is a muddy bank. It's mud. There's not nothing. There's no rock, no uh, pebble, pea gravel. And you're just looking for stuff like this right here. And then you can fish way out here on the flat, coming into the channel, back up on the bank. And you don't necessarily have to fish only the structure, fish the flat out around it. Right there, that is fish. Right there, see that? That right there is what a piece of structure looks like that has fish on it you can see them sitting in the little crevices you can see divots all the way up through here that right there is exactly what you're looking for and i'm looking 70 feet wide on both sides and we are in 11 foot of water right here and that spot that spot is 40 feet off my right hand side so it's probably not three or four feet deep in water what we've got here is just a piece of timber off the edge of the uh, river channel. There's the river. There's the bank. There's Kevin Bean. Uh-oh. I hear a real squealing. You like red ear fishing, baby? Yeah. yeah okay, swallowed it. Yeah. You can see right there, the bank is just slick mud at the water line. There's not rock, there's not vegetation, there's not pea gravel. It's nothing but just mud bank across there. Mud bank, a little bit of timber equals red ear all out roaming up and down this bank all along this bank you can see those right there are red ear right there's another one just popped up they're just cruising up and down this we're in three foot of water the uh, channel is right over here and about six feet deep right here we're right at the mouth of a cove right there's the river and this can be replicated up and down Barkley. All these bright spots, uh, you see them flashing and running. That is the red ear right there. the money spot. There, 
microphone just popped up right there, right at the trail, trailing motor five foot out. See her, she drug it just a little bit and then dropped it. She's dragging it about a foot and then dropping it. Let it set, then drag and drop. That's the way you trigger the bite and they're just running up and down through here and they may not see it if it's on bottom. Them right there are some good, you're dropping right on that one's head. Drag it to us just a little bit. Yep. Perfect. I seen him move a little bit. He's looking at you. Be ready. He's looking. Come on, baby. He's just swimming all over it. It's amazing. I never knew Reddy reacted like this. Drag it to us just a little bit. Come on. Yep, perfect. You're right there in, in his face again. Live scoping red ear. Now you will catch some bluegill when you're doing this. They stay in the same area with the red ear and you just gotta weed through them and you find your hot spots and then you move on. You can sit here and grind for a little bit, but once the bite starts slowing down, just slide around a little bit and start fan casting out into the open water. See, she's just dragging it along. Drag and drop, drag and drop. There you go. Dragging about a foot or so and then letting it drop. And all she's doing is making that bait pop up off the ground a little bit, off the bottom, and then set back down trying to get one's attention. Oh, well, I don't know what that was. Drag and drop, drag and drop, exactly like that. As, oh, oh, what you got, what you got, what you got? <laughs> That's what she got right there. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna help. I'm gonna sit here and record and laugh a little bit. They get wadded up down in there. They're hard to get hooked up. Oh, yeah. She got it under control now. Boss lady. Right there. Boss lady. Let's see if we can find another little hot spot right there. Oh, she got an... Oh, it come loose. I'm just, there they are coming up off the bottom. See, they are just cruising. And that's what nobody ever believes. They think they got to be stacked up on something. They absolutely do not. <laughs> are you having fun baby yeah. are you gonna talk to me today give, give me a little hog call no. give me a suey mm -mm. come on now do it do it do it nope. no come on do it just just a little just a woo pig just give me a woo pig woo pig everybody thinks that they got to be sitting on structure they don't have to be just about every fish that we've caught has been away from that structure. We cast to it and then we start dragging, trying to bring our bait just down. Is that a big one? No. Okay. Just down the contour. And that's why we've got our uh, slip bobber set a little bit deep. That way our bait, our weight below the slip bobber can be in contact with the bottom. And then our bait is dangling up here behind it and just dragging it down that contour. You're stirring up the dirt. You're leaving a scent trail for the red ear to follow and i can watch them on this live scope and they will absolutely follow that scent trail from that worm and we're not freshening up our worm every catch we're making them eat whatever we're throwing at them because they're biting now if they were being ornery where they wouldn't bite when the uh the juice was smushed out of the worm then we'd freshen it up every single time but right here we don't have to Brittany is smoking them she is having a ball. I am making a deposit in the marriage bank right now, guys and gals. I mean, this is how you do it. Get them out here, get them fishing, and make them happy. And right now, I believe she is happy. What is that? That is an ugly, ugly little dude. 
I ain't got a clue what that is. Some sort of bottom feeder. Got his mouth on the bottom. You gonna touch that thing? Mm -hmm. Kind of nasty. Get it out of my troll motor. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> That's a woman right there. He's reaching around to grab that thing. Well, Well, I wanted to look at that. You did. Uh. All right, all we did was slid around the bank a little bit, and there is a hot spot right here. Oh, oh. oh it come out. There is a major hot spot right here. All these, these are one-foot bars on here, and they are foot filling up or past a full one-foot bar. And it's 18 foot out. I dropped the power poles to stay down away from them just a little bit. Uh, she's getting bit right now, and it's by a smaller fish, I believe. The current is coming up in this creek, and it keeps on pushing her bobber this way. And she's almost on top of the pile right there. That should be really close right there. Oh, yeah, there she is on the screen. So she's right there at them. Let's see if they'll come up and eat it. You can see that I may end up having to watch your bobber. I might end up having to drop her... Uh, slip bobber down just a little bit to get it on down in there because right now it's about a foot over the top of them. They should come up and eat that. Keep on dragging it to the left. Drag it, yeah, pull to the left and then let it drop. See all those fish moving? That's that bait trail I was talking about. The worm is leaving a scent trail for them to follow, and that is what they were following. I've never saw that before and been able to confirm that that's exactly what it is, but that is what is going on right there. Yeah, there's quite a few of them right there, 23 feet. You see these fish running around on the bottom. These red ear never stop running on this bottom, and they're coming all the way right here to the trolling motor. Uh, power poles are in the water holding a steel right here so we're just sitting still we got the live well open because we've been jacking them and just throwing them in the live well here's one right here underneath the trolling motor at two feet oh my god look how many red ear are on this thing this is just absolutely insane the amount of red ear that are on here you're right in the strike zone now, Brittany. Drag it a little. There you go. Oh, missed it. Shoo. That is a ton of red ear right there. They're all over the place. There's a stump in there somewhere, and they're just stocked up on it, and they're running. Now, yesterday, when me and Kevin Bean shot this video, these out here were the easier ones to catch, not the ones actually on the stump. Oh, wow, they're lined way up. You pull it to your left, baby. Keep on pulling it to your left. There you go. There you're dropping in the screen. You're right in some right there. You had one fall it down. Yep. <gasps> oh, look out. Who's getting them mirror rings now? Okay. She is back in there again. Right there. Oh. Drag it a little bit, drop it. Drag it a little more. Up to the left, Brittany, not towards the boat. Oh, got it. Got it, got it. Whew. Better watch out for that barge. It's about to get old Kevin Bain back there. There he is. <laughs> what about that, guys? We got out there. Miss Brittany put it on him. And you know who else we ran into? Kevin Bean. What you got there, man? Well, that's a shell cracker. I'm telling you. That's the gold of the water. Right there. <laughs> yes, sir. He helped us uh, film a TV show yesterday down here showing people how to catch red ear in the fall and he flat put us on them. That's on the hook season three. That'll be coming out uh, next spring, uh, probably first of March. 
But for now, we hope you've been able to take something away from this video. We appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and we'll see you next week.